In this video, I'm going to try to make a tri-tip steak using the rotisserie in the air fryer. is 2.3 pounds. I cooked this tri-tip a little bit longer than I normally do. I set it for 250 degrees for an hour and a half. See how the rotation is a little weird? Right now the bottom is of the steak is about the top of the gear. You see when it reaches the top it's going to like fall over right there. And then as it reaches the bottom it's going to have a little pause right there. And the reason for that is when I took apart the power air fryer oven the gear and the um, I don't know what you really call it but there was too much gap uh, in it so that's what caused all this wobble I'm willing to bet this is using the same exact parts as the power air fryer oven this is a clip of when I took apart the power air fryer oven and this is the lower rotisserie gear pulley and as you can see, there's a lot of play in this. And the reason is this metal piece slips into a hole inside the pulley, but the hole is too large. So if your rotisserie appliance acts this way too, this is probably why. I like my tri-tip steaks around medium well. And the reason is, if it's about medium or even medium rare, it, it's a little too chewy for me. Piece. Mm, it's pretty good. It's actually not too chewy. Let's see though. Yeah, not too chewy. It's really good. Lots of flavor. <laughs> 